Does your character ever daydream of being Cloud Strife? Do they think that great swords are more like just okay swords? Do they ever find themselves waist deep in slain cobalt with another 30 left to go, look down at the pitifully normal sized Earthbreaker in their hands and think, man, if this were only big enough for Cthulhu to use, this would all go so much faster. Well, then you're in luck because in Pathfinder, there's rules for that. Massive oversized weapons are a staple of popular media from anime to I mean, well, it's mostly just anime, but there's definitely something alluring about the idea of hoisting an axe twice as tall as you are and absolutely obliterating anything that gets within casual speaking distance. And Pathfinder gives us a couple of different ways to make that dream a reality. Our first step is to look at how sizing works. Creatures range in size from fine, like locusts, all the way up to colossal, like the Tarasque. Player characters are almost always small or medium, but equipment is made to fit creatures of all sizes. Normally, of course, you'd get a weapon that's made to match whatever size you are, but that's not what this video is about, is it? So let's ask the easy question first. Can we just find and use a bigger weapon? We can, but only up to a certain point. Bigger than usual weapons take more effort to wield. Each time your weapon goes up a size compared to you, it goes one step along the chain of light, one-handed, and two-handed. So if you pick up a large scimitar as a medium human, it's gonna be a two-handed weapon for you. But here's the kicker. If a weapon gets big enough to step past two-handed, you can't use it. It's just straight up not allowed. So to get bigger than just large, we'll have to look at ways to increase in size magically. When you increase in size, all your stuff does too. So how big can we make ourselves? To maximize our maximizing, let's look at how magical size increases do and don't stack. Following up on a Vega original rule, Paizo released errata which clarified that there are two categories of size change effects. And while you can gain the stacked benefits of both kinds at once, multiple effects of the same kind do not stack. The first category is for effects that change your actual size, like the spell Enlarge Person, which incidentally is exactly the spell we're looking for. One way to gain its benefits that still suits our ragey smashy needs is the demonic bulk ability you get as a Blood Rager of the Abyssal Bloodline. At level four, you grow a size when you rage. How perfect is that? The second category is for what are called effective size changes, abilities and effects that make weapons do damage as though they were one size larger. One example of this is Impact, a special ability that can be added to a magic weapon. It's priced at a plus two bonus, which does make it pricey, but it should be affordable by level six or seven if you plan for it. That, along with Enlarge Person, has us attacking with a weapon that is effectively huge. But is that big enough? No, of course it's not. To go bigger, let's revisit our first idea of just using a physically larger weapon. We can bypass the restriction we mentioned before with the help of the Titan Mauler Barbarian archetype. At level three, a Titan Mauler's fittingly named Massive Weapons ability lets them use a two-handed weapon that's one size category bigger than they are. So if we take four levels in Abyssal Blood Rager, three levels in Titan Mauler Barbarian, and put impact on something large and two-handed, we can wield a weapon that does damage like it's gargantuan. So. That's pretty cool. But surely you plead, surely there's some way to get that one last step up to Colossal, right? And there is, but it's a pretty steep investment. We'll start with three levels in Titan Mauler, just like before, but instead of classing into Blood Rager, we'll get our physical size increased by taking levels in the Goliath Druid archetype. To start, Primal Size gives us Enlarge Person as a spell we can cast even if we didn't take the time to prepare it. Then, after 14 levels in Goliath Druid, Wild Shape can act like the spell Giant Form 2, which, true to its name, lets us change into a huge giant, bumping everything we have up one last size. And there you have it. You've got a bona fide colossal weapon. Is it a practical build? No, of course it's not. But hey, if you're trying to use a Warhammer fit for Cthulhu, practicality probably wasn't your highest priority anyway. Ta-da. Well, that was entertaining, but I want more. Where can I get more? Well, Tell me! I heard the crew of Door Monster does a bunch of podcasts over at Door Monster Podcast, which is a separate YouTube channel that has all of their podcasts on it. Well, you saved my life. I'm going to take a long carriage ride in the next few weeks, and a podcast is exactly what the doctor ordered. Well, that's great, because they got hours and hours and hours and hours and hours and hours of podcasts.